You are alone in a mysterious new world, full of hidden dangers. You only have minutes to find food and shelter before darkness falls and the monsters come looking. What do you do? Well, at least that is what the book is saying. So this is how it's gonna go. I will start by following the instructions of the book and just do whatever the book tells me. And then we're going to see where I end up. This video will either end when I finish the book or when I die trying to follow the book. Hopefully it's not something super hard. Let's start with survival mode first moment so it says we can have a lucky spawn and a lucky spawn so it says to check for trees rocks waters and animals so there's a bunch of trees here there is water there there's animals here i'm pretty sure if i come and dig down here if i come and dig down here yep there's rocks so we're good to go on that. In Minecraft, they only last 10 minutes, so there's no time to waste. Okay, I'm wasting time. We need to find basic resources. So, we need to the nearest tree and hit the trunk. So let's go on this tree. Let's hit it repeatedly. Perfect, we got our first wood. It says a small cube will fall. It already had fallen. Now I have it on my so-called nine hotkey spaced inventory or inventory or however you say it. All right, so it says repeat step two until we have at least 15 blocks. So let's make that our main priority. Perfect, we have at least 15 blocks now. So now we have to open our inventory. We need to check. Oh, okay, okay. That was okay. Yeah, that's bad. So let's open our, our inventory. We put one block of wood. So let's grab one block of wood. So we'll place one there. And we will get four planks of wood. Move these planks into your inventory to save them. And then four planks for my crafting table. Lucky me, I don't have to drag all of that because mine is the console so I can just do this. Next page, we have wooden tools. Place your crafting table on the ground. Alright, it wants us to make sticks first. So let's make some sticks. Now we can make sticks. So it wants us to make a pickaxe. Lucky me, I don't have to grab them. I can just auto and perfect. Now we have a pickaxe. It wants us to make a wooden axe. Usually I wouldn't do this, but since the book is telling me to, I will do it. And now I need a wooden shovel. So I need all these three items to survive. Torches. Sunset is approaching and we need a light source. Okay, it's midday, but I guess it's still approaching. So to make torches, you need wool and coal. Look for rock face and see if you can spot any coal ore. It looks like stone with black flecks. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit hard to find. 12 seconds later. Without you, you can craft torches without using a crafting table because they only require two ingredients. How cool is that? So we can just make oh, look, it's already there. Torch, we make let's just make all of them now. now it wants us to make a furnace, so we need eight blocks. Great, we can make a furnace now. How cool is that? Now let's find something a jack o' lantern. Where am I gonna find a pumpkin? And oh, I did not knew Fox could do that. Anyway, that's probably, that's, that's really cool. I have never seen a fox do that. Shelter. Time to make a shelter to keep you safe from monsters during the night. Don't forget to bring your crafting table with you because you're going to need it once you're inside. Find a spot in a rock face to make a shelter for the night. You could use the area where you've been mining coal. Dig further and you'll need plenty of space inside. Okay. Well, 
I have to return back to the mountain then, so let's not forget our crafting table. Okay. I think we should do good here. Place a torch on each wall. Okay. Make sure I put a torch on each wall. Place a chest and your shelter you can use to store valuable items that you want to keep safe. And there we go, we can have a chest now. Like honestly today, people can do a lot of things in 10 minutes. Well back then, this is what you had to do in 10 minutes. Oh, there's no time to relax during your first night while you're hiding out in your shelter you need to craft some plants, tools, stone pickaxe, a stone shovel. We didn't even use our wooden shovel, but we need a stone shovel. Stone axe. Didn't even use my wooden axe. Actually, no, I did use it to get that the crafting table and now with stone sword now that is new that did was not asked before So anyway, oh There's a zombie just trying to get in when day two finally breaks Assuming that you're still alive, which I'm pretty sure am because I've been following this wonderful book your Next priority will be to find food Fruits and vegetables are the ideal food source can find any animals and what the heck how the heck did you got in you just interrupted my what I trusted you and you failed me how do you dare to fail me I'm more attached to this book than I am to this game um, I got the survival guide as probably the first book in the collection and I got it way before I got minecraft like two years two three years before I even got the game so yeah I have a big emotional attachment to this it's a great book and this is pretty much known as the book that introduced me to the whole world of minecraft